The external storms and trials of life are absolutely real. The Lord invites us to recognize that external storms are real, but then choose how we allow those external storms to affect us internally. I'm talking about worry, I'm talking about fear. These things are real. You're not crazy to be worried. You're not crazy to be fearful because the trials and the struggles are real, absolutely real. But here's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter six. He said, no one can serve two masters for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one, despise the other. You cannot serve both God and be enslaved to money. Now, that seems obvious. You're like, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Look at the next verse. He says, Jesus continues, that is why I tell you to not worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food, drink, enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant and they don't worry and they don't fret about all these things. Can your worries add one moment to your life? Jesus talks about us not being able to serve two masters. That is not only a reference to us worshiping and wanting money or worshiping and wanting our needs to be met or worshiping and wanting comfort. That's a real thing. But what Jesus is saying is allow the external stresses to stay external. Realize that God is provider, God is sustainer, God is our peace, God is our confidence, God is all those things. But when the externals seep into the internal, we start to question everything about ourselves, about God, about everything. You can't serve two masters. Either he's in charge or he's not. And that tug of war is constantly there. Either he's in charge or he's not. Verse 32, a little later in Matthew 16, Jesus says this, These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. What dominates your thoughts? Man, I'm not shaming you. I'm inviting you to allow the peace, the confidence, the provision, the goodness, the sustaining strength of God to dominate. Man, that's a word. To dominate our thoughts. May the peace and the power of God dominate your thoughts today, not only because of his power, but because of your choice. Lord, help us. Have a great day.